to turn the small cranks and I want to be absolutely certain that all three are absolutely identical so that they can line up and run concentrically. And this is lead bearing uh, cold roll steel which is very good machining and I've set up a uh, test indicator here and it just shows me that I'm getting less than half a thou uh, run out on this so I can be pretty sure that when I drill it's going to run concentric with the outside so uh, that's okay but this is the way to check uh, for concentric. We're about to use a number two center drill just to start the hole which will be a number 13 drill which will be reamed out by a 1000 undersized 3 sixteenths reamer point. Now that's enough to start the drill and uh, take the center drill out and put in when I bought these this set of number letter drills fractionals good value but I got the cheapest I could because I didn't have much money and uh, that was a mistake because not all of them are straight <laughs> well you you live and learn you see and I'm putting a little cutting fluid on and start up again and let this lead bearing steel is absolutely wonderful well you've seen me start the hole there's no point in you seeing me finish it so I'm gonna uh, switch this off again we're going to ream the hole 1865 it's just a little bit undersized so we can press the shaft there we go that didn't take long here have, I've indicated uh, 0.25 away from the center of uh, the billet that's now mounted on my mill and with a number one countersink, because it's a smaller hole now, I'm going to just stop for the, the drill. There we go. Now we changed to a 13 drill, I know it was a 31, oh no, to a 31 drill. It was a 13 last time, so that's a bit of a coincidence, but nevertheless. And again, this is an undersized eighth hole. A several thou, and then I'm going to ream it out one thou under size 0.124 reamer. Now you saw the last hole was drilled on my tag lathe, but this one, since the mill will position it exactly. a quarter of an inch away from the previous hole it's easier to do that they won't quite be discs then but they'll all be the same profile and as long as I part them off the same thickness they should be fine here we go for reaming Uh, 
diameter end mill here to cut the counter set, uh, the counterweights into the blank from which we will pump off the three separate crank bits doing one side at the moment. I'm taking a 50 pound cut this nice cutting floor. When I've got this deep enough on this side, I'll do the same thing on the other side. Then bring it back to the little tape lathe and uh, half off. Fifty. Now let's score up and see. See the finished crankshaft. The three crank discs which uh, I showed you drilling on the lathe on the it's back in the little uh, tape lathe now for checking uh, the central hole was drilled on the tape lathe and I moved it to the mill drilled the crank pin holes I'm checking for concentricity and uh, it's actually worked out pretty well it, it takes a little bit of trial and error and patience and of course feed blocks are essential to start things off right now let me just bring it up to show you as I rotate show you the dial uh, test indicator and as I rotate you can see there's under just over half a thou run out and I'm sure that will be okay so I'm, I'm quite happy with it but you've got to remember it doesn't come I mean if it came straight away you're in luck but it takes a little bit of thought and patience and uh, a little bit of tweaking certainly starting off with feed box and you may have to just uh, rotate very very slightly after pressing in the discs to get them quite uh, running consistently bushes you've got to put on first and you'll notice that this is for number one cylinder this is for number two cylinder and they are set at 90 degrees apart so that the finished engine will be self-starting now you don't have to worry about an exact 90 degrees as long as it's close it will work it doesn't affect the os oscillating valve timing at all so uh, just get it close. The most important thing, of course, is to get this shaft and this shaft running concentrically. And if you can do that, uh, it's not easy. And take your time and be patient. But uh, And make this first, because if you can't make it, you can't make the engine. As long as this is the most difficult part. If you can make this, you can make the rest. Here I've slipped all of the bearing bushes onto the shaft of course I'm gonna not leave them there because I they can fall off but that's where they will go so in effect you've got one two three main bearings and one and there will be a bush in the uh, connecting rod to number one cylinder so in effect you've got five little bearing phosphate fronds uh, bronze bearing bushes to make but, but that's all far part of the fun